Hi, Story Toes. My name is Drift Thorn, and welcome back to Who Hunts Monsters. I know it's been like a long time since I played anything besides Undertale, which I finished, by the way. <laughs> um, but with finals, that was really just something really quick and easy, and I knew we were kind of towards the end of it, so I wanted to get that done. Uh, but yeah, I finished school. I didn't graduate because I changed my major half uh, like this year, so. Technically, it does, I've gotten two years, but it doesn't count for my AA because I changed majors. Uh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I've never heard my phone make that noise before. Okay, demon phone, you can stay right over there. Um, I somehow managed to finish my school with three A's and one B, and the B, while it ticks me off completely, um, was in Spanish, which I thought I was gonna get a C or a D in, so I'm awesome with a B, because <laughs> I thought I was failing that class because it kicked my ass the whole time. And I don't know how anyone learns a second language. First off, because it takes like four to five years to completely like master it. Second off, like it's, uh, your brain just has to be, like you have to be so smart in order to like learn a second language. It just kicked my ass all year. Second off, if I get start sweating during this video, I, I'm not really sorry because it's hot as fuck. Um, it's like 81 degrees and I have no AC in my house, so. <laughs> I have two fans going and it is doing diddly squats because I have my computer on and then I have my light on, which produced a lot of heat. So, if I start sweating, it ain't my fault. It's the weather in Texas. I mean, Florida. I'm not in Texas. I was. I'm not anymore. I'm, I'm in Florida. I know where I am. Don't, don't laugh, okay? Uh, so the last time we went and we haunted the monster girl, monster fighter, bull chick, and she tickled our feet, because that's a thing in this game. Did you know that was a thing in this game? Because it is. Oh, um, oh, Angie, I got something for you. If you got a second, let's check. Yes, sir, Foster Dude! Foster! Howdy, Angie! Just the girl I was looking for. Listen, that energetic friend of yours came by and left you a letter. Hang on, let me find it real quick. Which, well, I guess the guy that did, like, the Squidward voice for isn't really, uh, fantastic. Here you go, stay out of trouble, kiddo. I saw my swear, I'll stay, I'll stay up to no good! <laughs> I suddenly swear I'm up to no good. Haha, <laughs> that's the spirit. A letter, huh? Let's take a look at this so called letter. There might be a demon in disguise. Dear Angie, I've been busting my butt hunting monster girls, but I need more training. Come find me at my place. Okay. Hmm, I wonder what kind of training he's talking about. Well, I should go and find him. At, at last. The time has come to step forward and grab your destiny by the ankle. And shake it all around. Go to the left, go to the right. That metaphor makes no sense. Well, you know, like, reach out and tickle the foot of your destiny that's bare before you. It's a perfectly, perfectly functional metaphor, Angela. You got a new quest. Okay, voices in my head. If you say it's a good metaphor, then it's a good metaphor. Nice walking backwards. Angie, at last! Well, how do you do, Mr. How do you say this name? Bake. Baycard? How can I be of service to you on this fine day? So, I was on a job kicking ass, taking names, breaking down monster girls, you know, but. So, what's wrong? Being tickled sucks. My whole life I've never had to deal with this, but now, if I slip up even a little, I'll be the laughing stock, literally. Such is a terrible burden we must bear. That's why I want you to help me train. What kind of training? Tickling endurance training, duh. If we can build up a strong resistance to it, we won't embarrass ourselves the next time a fairy manages to get under our shirts. The deadly fairy in our shirts technique. Hey, devastating manner. Exactly. Listen, I'm going to the Proving Grounds. Just catch up as soon as you can, and we'll work through this together. Are you sure this is just an excuse to- Are you sure- Are you sure this isn't just an excuse to tickle me? What? Of course not. I'm going first anyway. I need to beat this nonsense. 
Big card, ran out in a hurry. Hmm, oh. Well, a bit of extra training won't hurt anything. I should go talk to the guard to get to the proving ground. Okay. Off to the proving ground. Hello. Howdy. What? Where are you going, Angie? I need to head out to the proving grounds for some extra training. Can you make it happen? The oh, right. Yes, of uh, right away, right this way. Didn't they say the guard was a woman? So that voice should be good. Right, right, right. It's about time I was getting antsy. You always seem like an antsy. And Andrew, that wasn't what that second word was, but I'm going with it. So, how should we do this? I've got the perfect plan. So we're close enough to Bitter Bug Woods that there are some Monster Girl forms in the air. Yes, I do for that oh so tingly sensation across my skin. It's odd. Yeah, whatever. But here, this is where we'll make our stand and grow stronger as Monster Girl hunters. Hey, what do we do? I test the branches on this tree, and they're pretty strong. You can reach out and grab a branch from each tree. So what we'll do is take turns holding onto the branches while the other tickles us and tries to get us to fall. Hmm. A fast and fantastic plan, my planning better. Peter. 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 I don't know. I can't read. Can't you guys tell my English sucks? <laughs> I knew it. Now, I'll go ahead and go first. Just a sec. There we go. So, whenever you're ready, give them your worst. Very well. I shall take pleasure in cursing your spo your so spirit, fool. Ha! That's great. Get into care. Tickle, tickle. Come on, bear, bear king. Be a real hero. Hang on. St hey, hey. <laughs> hey, whoa. Ha, oh, crap. Ha, ha. Angela continued to gently tickle his exposed armpits, her fingers fluttering up and down softly, every little scratch causing him to jerk left and right. In no time at all, Bearcud's cheeks were flushed with heat and sweat was starting to tickle down his cheeks. He managed to bite his lip only to sputter, sputter and burst into laughter when Angela's hand slipped up his shirt. <laughs> hey, that's it! <laughs> Do your worst, Sahara! He's not bunging! This calls for drastic measures! Mm. Angela shoots both hands up his shirt, drumming her fingers along its ribs, poking and pottering at his sides. She grins devilishly, leaning in to keep tickling him as he swung back, trying to get away. Cool, cool, kitty, 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 kitty. Does it tickle? Are you ticklish? You are now. Barracuda eyes ice went wide, and tears welled up and slid down his cheeks. His mouth was stretched into a wide, hysterical laugh. His cheeks were bright red. <laughs> what are you saying? Stop it! <laughs> I can't. You can't hold on? No, you can't. Tickle, tickle. Crooch, crew. Such a tickly little hero. Crooch, 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 crew. Angela's grin burst and she laughed when her fingers found his nipples. The reaction was instantaneously. Barracuda screamed and high pinched well and fell to the ground. <laughs> what am I reading? <laughs> Oh, developer, what ha what have you done to me? This is fantastic. Angela couldn't resist holding him down just a bit longer, tickling his shockly sensitive nipples. He bucked and rolled beneath her, struggling to force force her back, but to no avail. See, the beautiful thing about this is my brother's on the other side of that wall and can probably hear me, and my parents are on the other side of that wall and can probably hear me as well. <laughs> I found someone's weak spot. Someone has very, very ticklish nipples. <laughs> I can't do his voice. I'm laughing too much. Mm. Shit! <laughs> Quit! I give up! You win! Ah! <laughs> oh, I could, but then you won't get any tougher. I think you need at least five more minutes of extreme tickling. Oh, that is cruel. Barracuda squeals grow even more desperate as Angela continues to assault his nipples. A pinch there, a poke there, even a flick of her devilish fingertips across his skin was like a fire in his belly. Quit! <laughs> Angela finally relented, withdrawing her hands from Barracuda's shirt, watching him quickly curl up and try to control, get control of his giggling. Her grin faded into small smiles, her gaze drifting away from him. 
Shit, that was awful. You're really good at this, Angela. Did you like super special tickling training or something? Hmm? Well, no. I just got tickled a lot as a kid. Mostly by some buddy that I used to know. Well, it paid off. Now I... Now I know what my weakness is. I can try to find some way to overcome it. How about tucking your shirt into your pants? Cause you know, then they can't get in your shirt. Just saying. All right, Tickle Champ, it's your turn. Payback, buddy boy. It's what now? Oh, right. Don't back down, Angie. Train hard, laugh hard, get stronger. All right. So if I just jump like this, there we go. All right, time for some revenge. Do your worst. What? Am I doing something wrong? You're not laughing. You need to line up a little. It just hurts if you're too rough. Oh, I get it. How about like this? Barracuda finally lightens his touch. Now gently, they Angela's bare sides. She jerked and a wave of giggles bubbled up in her chest. Angela clenched her eyes shut, trying to pull away. <laughs> like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Angela's laughter became quicker and higher pitched as Barracuda grew more confident, digging his stubby fingertips up and down her sides. Her stomach quivered with every, with every touch, and her cheeks quickly turned pink. Angela jerked and nearly kicking Barracuda when he goosed her hips. With a grin, he quickly swung around behind her. With one hand, he goosed and squeezed her side to hold her still as his other attacked her belly. <laughs> You're getting good. At this, <laughs> Brr. But aren't you? But you are falling. How? You're way more ticklish than I am. And if you're this ticklish, why are you wearing a shirt that can't even cover your stomach? <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> I guess. Whatever. I have to win now. How about? Hmm. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> Barracuda found and slipped inside. Angela's navel in response to her sudden outburst. He grinned and wiggled his finger around inside her scissor button. His other hand go goosing her hips quicker. Is goosing the right word for this? Wouldn't it be ghosting? No, nah, whatever. Angela squeaked and squealed, thrusting as well as she could, kicking her legs and tugging them up as high as she could to wander off his tickling hands. What is it you were saying? Oh, yeah. Kick a coo, Angel Tickle Tickle. Not that tickle talk. <laughs> you win. Snap. Stamp. Shap. I like Angela. Barracuda stopped immediately, putting his hands on his hip and laughing with pride. Ha <laughs> ha. Even the mighty Angela falls to the great Bacard. Hee <laughs> hee. You win, Grant. Man, how do you even fight Monster Girls if you're that ticklish? <laughs> Thankfully, you didn't get my worst spot, or I'd probably be dead. Uh, what's that then? Angela sighs, finally getting control of her giggles. Without a word, she glances down at her feet and chucks and what? The toes of her boots together. Not telling. Oh come on, you know mine. Nope. Who knows who might be listening? Uh, that's fair. Whoa, why is it all done already? Drat, it's getting dark. We should probably head back to Kitzel. Hey, thanks for coming out here, Angela. I appreciate your help. You said it before. Us Monster Girls hunters have to stick together. Plus, it was pretty fun. I haven't been tickled like that in... a long time. Well, I have to find time to do it again. Oh, hey, Captain Morgan gave me gave me this. But I'm not really... Go I'm not r going to use it so you can have it. A card? Is it a membership card to some kind of jello of the month club? I'm really particular to putting... Nah, it's a dress card. It lets you change your class. My class? Oh, so I can go to lower middle class to like upper middle class? Nah, that's more luck than even you've got. This lets you change your fighting class. You know, like how I'm a lancer and you're a jack. Oh, that sounds handy. I'll give it a try when I get back to my room. For sure. If you're going to get a dresser or something like that, just try it there. Oh, and I'll let Captain Morgan know to send the gear she got me to your place. Haha, <laughs> look at me. Thanks again, Angie. Let's get back to Kitzil. Lead the way. Quest 
complete. You got 30 XP and a dress card. And lucky you, you don't have to pay for new gear. Awesome. I am the best. I am sweating my ass off, though. Oh, my God. It's so friggin' hot. Why are you guys doing this to me? I want my shirt and sleeves back on. I've literally... Because I've just been sticking most of my room. I've literally just been in, like, really... Sh my shorts and, like, just my bra. Because it's so fucking hot. Like, it's it's hot enough that I'm, that I'm sweating through all my clothes. And I'm sticking to my chair or to my bed or to whatever I'm touching. Like, my arm, if I just rest it on my desk, it'll, like, sweat and I'll stick to it. I hate it. Ugh. What would you like to do? I would like to save, please. Was that more information that you guys need to know? I, I apologize. I watched Bowling Out of last night, and Lizzie is famous for doing TIMs, and I think she's rubbed off on me just, just a tiny little bit. You can now use your closet to change your class. Each class has a different level, so keep that in mind when deciding which you wish to use. Which classes would you like to change to? Jack, Wizard, Rogue, Warrior. Can I change multiple ch times? The Mighty User of Magical... Mystical arts. The wizard prefers to attack elementary weakness and combine their spells in unique and fascinating ways to bundle their foes. Become a wizard. See, I kind of want to just to see what these are, but like I'm used to the way I'm fighting now. A tricky class that relies on potion and sabotage to overwhelm more powerful foes. Extremely quick, the rogue must stay one step ahead to deal with the mighty monster girls. See, like. See, what's a jack? A flexible jack is able to use both magical and physical. The jack is a solid beginner class that can perform. Well, that can be powerful with time invested into it. See, I'm already a jack, and I already kind of like like what I have. A mighty warrior who wields a mighty shield. The warrior can take a beating and thrives in desperate situations. Their skills grow stronger as their HP falls. They utilize TP exclusively, so plan is important. See, I kind of just want to be a Jack because, yeah, I'm like I'm happy the way she is because that's what I've been doing for like the past hour is playing. Like, I mean, the other episodes I was a Jack, so I, re I don't really want to change it. I think I'm happy just. To I think I'm happy just the way I am for now. Maybe next time. Yeah, maybe next time. Right now, I think I'm good. I am sweating ass, but I think I'm good. Wait, what am I doing? Morgan, I need gear, I guess. I don't have a quest. I guess I'll go talk to her. Hey, dude. With that said, you earned a break. Go rest and I'll let you know when I have an Oh, do I just have to rest in my bed? Okay. Excuse me, little boy boy. I'm you're in my way. You're in my way. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so rest I guess it's hot that's hot that ah, lid go on thank you oh and you were so close to think I trusted you hmm that door won't open Logically, this means I need to gather the four crystals from- Oh, right. I already read this. Or, it means I just had the wrong- Oops, I didn't mean to click it again. Mubby. Uh, I really hope Monday, the AC- Or, the electricity guy is supposed to come so uh, to get the AC working because he has to hook it up. So, I really hope he comes Monday, and I hope he gets the rooms done, because I am sick. It's so hot. There aren't many people living here anymore. Krizik is mostly just a rest stop for people heading to one of the bigger valleys. There seems to be a lot of strong silent types around, though. That's thanks to the guild post here. Due to this town being important rest stop, stop, they assigned Captain Morgan to train hunters to protect the area. Let me guess, you're training too? Nope, I just really like running in place. Alright, I read this. What am I supposed to do to get my next quest? It's G and I'm sweating. Hello, hello, welcome to Curtis Outpost. And since you have a dress code, I can finally show you my equipment options. Ooh, you got quit with my you got quit quit bit 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 bit. Wait, so can I take any of this for my person and still be a jack of jack of trades? 
How much money do I have? I have 300, so I could... Oh, but none of this... It said that it possesses zero, but this is the only thing, like, lets me upgrade, so I guess I'm just gonna grab that. Uh, I have one of these. I'm gonna grab one of those. Uh, restores can't be used in battle, can't be used in battle. I think that's fine. I am just gonna do this because I don't... I don't know what our next mission is. How do I... Oh. I don't know what our next mission is, so I don't exactly know what I need. How do I look at my equipment? Whoops, I didn't mean to push that. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. Um, equipment for you. Equipped. Alright, there. So one offhand would be a shield and headgear, but it didn't show like it would do anything. So let's, let's see, oh wait, I don't have enough money. What is this? Uh, left by slime can be sold. So let's sell eight of those and let's sell those. I'm assuming if it's allowing me to sell it, I don't need it. Armor. Oh, I can't. Okay. Go over to buy. So, I don't have a shield. See, but this doesn't say, like, it's a plus anything. And it show, it's showing this for... Oh, because that's... Okay. So, this, I have to be a warrior. This, I have to be a wizard. Okay, but can I get the shield and use it? That is wasted money. Uh, did I just waste my money? Whoops. No, back. Equip. Equip. Because it should. Nope. I just wasted money because I can't use it. Well, screw you. Well, maybe I can give it to one of the other people I normally go up against. They're not up against, but team up with me. Do I do? Hello, hello! I have protected one of those demon soul egg doohickeys! Well, well, that take a look here. A goblin, they can be tough cookies. Give me just a moment. There we are. I enchanted the demon soul egg so that now it works as a link to the prison dimension. You can activate the demon soul prison at any time from your main menu by selecting soul collection. Go ahead and activate your goblin soul egg. I'm sorry, my what? Collection? This is a soul prison for the hobgoblin. Activate the view, advanced info, punishment, or reward the monster girl. A bit dim-witted, but otherwise fearsome. This is a soul prison for goblin. Activate the view. A rowdy little troublemaker for sure. I'm sorry, what? Do I want to go into this? Is this going too far? Just, just, okay. Name, goblin, species, goblin, height, 310, limit class, fire, earth, hot spots, belly. A common race of monster girls, goblins tend to be very playful and inquisitive. While they may seem harmless at first, they are incredibly strong and head-hearted. Once a goblin has decided she likes a human, she will follow them to the ends of the earth, unless properly defeated. They are protective of the humans they capture, refusing to share them with their clan. Welcome to the Soul A Captive menu. Here you can view details information about captive girls as well as punish or reward them. What would you like to do with her? Nothing? <laughs> I don't want to punish and I don't think I need to reward anyone. What is this? Is this... What What am I doing? So what take over for me, okay? Name, hobgoblin, species, goblin, height, four, two, element class, fire and earth, hotspot, breast. Good to know. A subclass of goblin which has mutated due to an overexposure to demonic energy. Unlike their cousins, hobgoblins are more dim-witted, but drastically more... Tintus? They aren't picky about whom they choose to drain and become easily intoxicated by the spirit elements drained while tickling their target. Here you can... What would you like to do? Should I punish just to see what the hell it does? 
Okay, it doesn't actually show it, but I have to read it. I am so uncomfortable. Okay. The hobgoblin has been hugged by her arms, dangling several feet from the ground. Her ankles are tied together and lashed to a small hook in the ground, keeping her pulled tight. A leather strap is wrapped around her waist, keeping her pushed up against the pillar she's tied to. Her top has been removed, really leaving her big breasts bare. Her shorts have been tugged down just enough to leave her hips bare. The monster girl has been restrained. You have a chance to punish, tickling her in her most valuable spots. What will you do? I just want to see what the hell this is, and I feel like I'm gonna regret this very, very bad, but tickle her? Well, 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 look at what we have here. After all that trouble you gave me, I'm feeling awfully touchy. The <laughs> obgoblin whines and squirms against her bonds. Her feet flapped uselessly, but she was just too well tied to do much more than wiggle. Oh, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot the voice I gave her. Be nice, human. It's not my fault you're so tasty looking. You make a very compelling argument. I do feel quite delicious. Still gonna tickle those boobies, though. <laughs> what game have I picked? <laughs> Angela wiggled her fingers and grinned like a goof. The hot guy bursting and giggles, her breasts bouncing and jiggling with every laugh. <laughs> no! Not there! <laughs> Don't, please! I haven't even touched you yet. Don't be such a giggly little hobby. Hobby gubby? Angela's figure is just a hair breadth away from the hobgoblin's trembling skin. The monster girl couldn't stop squealing and laughing, shaking her head and clutching her fist and toes. Stop! 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 <laughs> Do too much! Here it comes! Tickle! Tickle! No! <laughs> it just decides like she tormented the monster girl long enough, and yet when she curves her fingers across the hobgoblin's big, bouncy breasts, her laughter double the volume, and she began to thrust for real. Tickle, tickling boobies, how do you like it? Isn't this fun? No, no, we're not there, not there. <laughs> Angela giggles mysteriously, spreading her fingers along the system other side of the hobgoblins. I really wish I had picked the one that likes the belly of the hobgoblins' breast. She beamed with joy, hearing the monster girl howl with laughter. So ticklish, you should think twice before picking a fight next time. Going in for the kill, Angela lets up her tickling. The hobgoblin looked at her in cute confusion, tears welling in the corner of her eye. Her eyes widened and a nervous girl spread across her lips. <laughs> no! With just a pointer finger, Angela grinned a cheeky grin, wriggling her fingers slowly. She leaned closer and closer until the tips of her finger uh, brushed against the hot god's rock hard nipples. Why'd I do this with my family's home? Tickle, tickle! <laughs> Angela couldn't resist giggling along as she tormented the monster girl's nipples, following them every which way as she did best to try to wiggle to freedom, and they still had so much time to kill. What will you do? Nothing. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> what have I done? What have I picked? Uh, reward? Ooh, owie, that's rude, you know. Yummy. Oh, mine, mine. Angel's eyes shot. <sighs> Just wanted to see what they did, and I regret it deeply. <laughs> Angel's eyes shot open, feeling the hobgons tugging at her ankle. A nervous grin spread across her face, and a shiver ran down her spine when her boot was pulled off. She whimpered when her socks came next. Hey, hey, can we talk about this? I don't really want to kill you, you know. I was doing my job, and, like, this job was a big mistake anyway, so maybe we can... Is this just the death, uh, the death game over? She went silent when Hogan slipped her and pulled it back. Yeah. Yeah, this is just the game over scene. Okay. Well, I don't know why this counts as a reward. Uh, cause yeah, this is just the game over. Yeah, this is how Angie's story ended. Uh, nothing? Okay, well, I'm so glad I did that. Now, I, I kind of feel like I had to do it with this one just to see what the hell it is. Uh... Oh, why not? You know, why, why not? Let's, let's... Let's just see what this is. <laughs> Unless it's the same thing as the other one. The goblin has just drained to a stone bench in the middle of the room. Her arms are tied behind her back with another rope attached to that one, keeping her tied tight to the big pillar, big stone pillar. Another rope is stretched around her legs, keeping them to the 
tying them to the bench, while another is wrapped around her ankles, keeping her s stuck in a sitting position. The Mars girl has been strained for you. You have a chance to punish her, tickling her in her most valuable spots. What will you do? Tickle her. The, go the goblin squirms in her seat when Angela approaches. She sighs and sticks her bottom lip out, giving her the best pouting face. Please don't. Aw, uh, you're asking so nicely. That's cute. But you know you've been bad. The goblin sighed and hung her head. Slowly she nodded. Yeah, I'm <laughs> why am I doing this to myself? Yeah, I'm a bad girl. Then, you know I have to tickle you, right? The goblin clutched her eyes her eyes shut and stuck her stomach in as much as she could. She bit down on her lip and slowly nodded. Don't worry, just have fun. The moment Angela came in contact with her quivering tummy, the goblin spattered and laughed out loud. Her belly shivered with every poke and gentle curse across the sensitive skin. Hehe, <laughs> not there, hehe. <laughs> Aw, oh, you're so cute! Could you do? Uh, the goblin shrieked and shook her head back and forth. Her cheeks ran were rampant, turning pink. <laughs> don't, don't, don't they? <laughs> Anna spread her finger slowly across the stomach's tummy, itching her way closer and closer to her little belly button. She paused, grinning, her finger hovering just above the sense of fault. Oh, howl. Howl? Uh, don't do what? This? Tickle, tickle! Gucci goo goo, who's tickly little gummy goo? <laughs> they are tickle tickle. Am I speaking English anymore? The goblin exploded with laughter at the slightest scratch at her belly button. Just one finger was enough to bring tears to her cheeks. Angela giggled, tracing her fingers around the edge of the nevel. <laughs> Not there! You're so cute when you're laughing. You know what? I bet I can make you scream. Watch this. Angela leaning closer, a violent shiver ran through the goblin's body when she felt her lips pushed against her stomach. Goblin bit her lip, fresh tears already flowing down her cheeks. The first raspberry on her belly button was all it took. She threw her head back, screaming with fresh laughter. Please stop! <laughs> her cries fell on deaf ears as Angela blew another ultimate ticklish raspberry on her sensitive belly button. The goblin's poor cries were only grew louder when Anna began to pinch and poke at her sides again. What will you do? Nothing? Tickle her? I don't know. The goblin went pro- Oh, so it's just the same thing. Okay. Okay, and we can skip all of this. Every bit of this. Nothing, nothing. We're good. We don't need it. Okay, so what's yours? Because I don't think I died. Oh, yes, I did. Ugh, what are you doing? Get off me! Why Why is rewarding her, like, the death over scene? Got my manager, pin her on, singing. Yeah, I... Yeah, I I read this. This is in I think it's in the first episode. All right, nothing. That was fun. We can we can leave those guys alone now. Nothing. I want nothing to do with the prisons. Okay, that was fun. So glad we did that. Aren't aren't you happy that I read and made you guys? I forced you to experience that. Seriously, what? Am I just resting? Is that all I'm supposed to do? Talk? Yeah, and I talked to you. You brought your doll and I thought I could buy one from the- Oh! I got a new quest. I guess I should have read it, but it was the same friggin' thing. How do I go see- I, I thought it was the same thing because I talked to her before and she said that I, and I went- I think it was in the first episode, so I went to her and I'm like, Oh, the shop has dolls sitting on her table. I bet I could buy one. Obviously not. But, yeah, whatever. Okay, that's... I don't want status. I want... Gathering. Optional. Missing brother. Okay, so this was all done. Okay. The little world brother took a favorite doll and went missing. He might be in the Sugar Heart Pass. Keep an eye out. Okay, so it's not get... Okay, so... I guess I'll talk to everyone. Does anyone else have a quest for me? Yeah, I know you did this. Yeah, just drink a potion. Yeah, that made sense. Okay, talk to you. You just like to run. Uh-oh. I think my game froze. Are you serious? Oh, there it goes. And 
you guys are just saying the same thing over and over. Ooh, you learned a new song. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. Wow, I'm so proud of you, of course. Oh, whoops. I thought it was just gonna keep on playing. I don't know why I thought if I did that, I'd just keep on playing. Ooh, that sounds nice. Goodbye. I guess I'll go and try to do the pass, I guess. But that's gonna be next time. Oh, I didn't mean to rest again. I meant to save. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna leave this episode here. Because I, I'm trying to bank up my videos so I'm trying to do like just like 20 or 30 minute videos and not do like a super long one even though I hate it because I feel like I ha I feel like I haven't done anything yet but I gotta think my videos so I gotta get I gotta get a nice stock up of them so thank you guys so much for watching go tickle someone and I will talk to you warriors later